From this part, we are going to create all the necessary components for our application. So in our application, we have seen that we have the landing page, which is the home view. We have the books. We have the add books, details of a book, the delete confirmation for a book, and the edit books page. For each of these functionalities, I'm going to create a separate component. I'm going to create a separate component for the navigation bar and for the food bar as well. Let's go back to our project and inside the components folder, we need to create a new component by writing ng component. We created the home. Now let's create the all books component and we are going to name it books. Then we create the details for a book. We could name it book details or simply book component. Then we need a separate component to add the book. So for that, we write in here, add book component. Another component is used to edit a book. So we write edit book. Then we have the page, which is used to confirm the deletion of a book. So here we are going to write delete book component. Another component is the navigation bar component. And the last one is the footer component. So once we created the components, we see that all the component folders were created. All the necessary CSS, HTML and TypeScript files were created as well. And on the app.module.ts, all the imports were done. We see all the imports for our components and their configuration on the declaration array. Now, before we continue further, let us change the app module, the bootstrap from home component to app component, and then go to index.html file, change it back to app root instead of app home. Save the changes and go back to the browser. So everything is loaded fine. But now in case you want to go to the home component or you want to go to another component to get a view for that component, we cannot because we have not configured the navigation yet. So this is all for this part and on the next part we are going to configure the navigation for our application. So guys, thank you for watching and see you on the next part.